24 News is your local election headquarters. Campaigning continues for the next Bentonville mayor after none of the five candidates received a majority of votes on election day, but there were two front runners. Jim Webb received over 5,500 votes, and Stephanie Orman received over 5,100. Fox 24's Kelly O'Neill in Bentonville with how each candidate continues their campaigning. The runoff election for the mayor of Bentonville is down to two candidates, Jim Webb and Stephanie Orman. Both candidates were invited to this community Q&A tonight here at the Bentonville Public Library. I'm excited about the runoff, excited about um, speaking with voters again and getting them out. So it is about getting voter turnout out there. On Wednesday night, the Citizens for Responsible Development in Bentonville held an hour-long question and answer session for the Bentonville mayoral candidates. The public was able to ask any questions they had, but one person was noticed absent candidate Jim Webb. Heading doors, contacting, phone calls, emails, text messages, whatever it takes. Webb declined the invitation for the event. We caught up with him before the Q&A as he was going door to door in his childhood neighborhood. The debate was organized by uh, some group, uh, a group on Facebook and and they've been, uh, they've seemed to be a little bit more hostile towards my campaign. Uh, nothing really good has been said about me on there. So I just chose to, you know, stick with I, what I do best, and that's, uh, you know, going door to door and not wasting my time with, with uh, any, you know, unproductive conversations. We're just running our game, and um, for me, it's always been about kind of that grassroots effort. It's always been about trying to answer people's questions and help them understand um, things we're doing in the city. Webb says he's focusing on what he knows he's good at. I, I really enjoy getting out, meeting the citizens of Bentonville face to face. As for Orman, she says it's about making herself as available as possible. I think voters right now, they want, you know, they want someone who's going to reach out and listen to them um, and engage with them. The runoff election will be held on December 4th. In Bentonville, Kelly O'Neill, Fox 24 News.